What's going on, guys? How's it going this afternoon? It's about 1.30 in the afternoon here. Just wanted to come in and talk a little. It's been a pretty amazing day already. Well, I woke up early and all that stuff, but... <clears throat> Still got this sickness going on. But I do have... A bunch of Reese's Pieces and Hot Tamales, which is my favorite candy. If you eat them together, they're just awesome. But when you put them together, you like, like I have a bowl full of Reese's and Hot Tamales. And I've always liked cinnamon flavored candies. I like anything hot pretty much. So, no, I don't want you to send me a challenge. Oh, you should try this. No, you shouldn't. Probably ate it before. Me and when my ex was babysitting at Everett one time. The family had a bottle of Dave's Insanity Sauce. They actually had a couple bottles of it, but he dared me to drink it. And as you guys know, you can't dare somebody to do something and just not do it. You can't just not do it if you get dared. That tore me up so bad. I wasn't sick for a week, but I was in pain for a week. It was horrible. But I do still like cinnamon candies. <laughs> cinnamon and peanut butter. It's like the best of both worlds. I got a bowl on my table. And every time somebody walks by, they pick at it. Which is fine. I don't mind sharing. As long as they pick equally I don't want to come back to my bowl and there be 75 hot tamales and 3 Reese's left which is what tends to happen if it's just Avalon picking it's all hot tamales she loves hot tamales if it's just the other kids picking it's all Reese's because they don't like hot tamales and when it's my mom picking, she just picks the pieces, the Reese's pieces. I don't know. I've just had an awesome morning where they come in and say hello to you guys. You guys. Somebody today messaged me. And I think I'm going to do it. But... It's kind of hard for me to do because they're asking me to, he, they, I, I actually don't know if it's a male or a female, asked how he could send me money. And I said, no, 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 that's not what we're going to do. I'm not, I'm not trying to get money from this. And he said, well, why don't you just put the support, support the channel on your thing. And that way, you know. Somebody can send 50 cents if they wanted to. Which, that's actually an okay idea. I'll do that. So I'm probably going to. But, you know, it is what it is. They, I don't know if it's a he or she, I'm pretty sure I already said that, derp, 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 asked me what my pay PayPal address was. And the problem with giving out PayPal is there's no real problem with it except for the fact that somebody can send, you know, how, whatever they want, but they can also say that it was a scam and get the money back. So 
say they send four bucks and I spend one, I'm on the hook for the other dollar. And that, you know, increases as it goes up. If they send a thousand and they go buy a new camera, they can get their money back. And I'm on the hook for it. And I, you know, I'd rather save my money for that. But, you know, if I don't have any, I've had a couple thousand views on videos, but, but if a thousand people sent 50 cents, I would be comfortable with I'm not gonna just hand out my PayPal address. So I figured I'd just throw that up there. And if he wants to do that, what I'll do is I'll let it sit for a year and after a year I can spend it. Because it takes about a year to do the, to do the, I think to be, you can no longer claim fraud after a year. I don't think. I might be wrong, but you know, who knows. But I'm not willing to be on the hook. If somebody sent me a thousand dollars, I'd have to sit on it for a while because I couldn't. I couldn't be on the hook for a thousand dollars, and I couldn't. Oh, I got a thousand dollars. I can go buy or a thousand dollars extra. I can go buy a camera. I can go buy a new laptop. Whatever. But regardless, I if I want those things, I need to just save up for them. Started listing again. Just need to have the start getting some good numbers again. I haven't been listing like I have, or like I was in the past. But as soon as I get you know a new computer and I'm set up all nice and nice and neat and everything's all clean, and I get a new camera. I'll start listing again. Pretty. I used to. It used to take me about two or three minutes per listing. Whether it was on Craigslist or eBay, either one. And they both have their advantages and they both have their disadvantages. eBay, you can ask a dollar for something and it can go up to 400. And that same time, the disadvantage is there's a lot of scammers on eBay, both buyers and sellers. So, and on Craigslist, you've got the, you've got the scammers, and then you also have to worry about, okay, y'all, I'll, I'll come pick it up, and they get to your house or wherever you meet them at, and they're just there to take the stuff, and I think now there's, I think in my town there's, you can meet at the police station, I think which I personally don't talk, talk to police. Not that there's anything wrong with talking to police, I just don't do it. Because everything you say can and will be used against you. And I say that because I got charged with lying to a public servant when, I don't know if I've told this story before, but my friend that I first met when I I hate talking about him because I saw him just just right before I got sick got diagnosed him and his girlfriend were like trying to go get pills and the girlfriend hit a nurse and the nurse it's like a felony. And once that happened, she left and the cop asked me where she went. And I said, I have no idea. Because I didn't. And a few days later, I got a ticket in the mail. Ticket in the mail and the ticket was lying to a public servant. So now, when they ask me questions, I just say, I plead the fifth. I don't speak to police because you're going to make something up. And you know, with that, with that other thing, uh, all that happened was I lost a hundred bucks. 
some plea agreement, but I still have no idea what I lied about. They just made something up and revenue collected. They made a hundred bucks off me. Well, somebody made a hundred bucks off me because they actually came and picked me up, took me to jail, and I bonded out. And they kept a hundred dollars of that bond money. So it is what it is. So now I just don't talk to police. I mean, if there's something that I know, not that I would ever snitch on anybody or anything like that, but if I know somebody could be saved or helped by me speaking to a certain police officer or something, I would do that. But for the most part, if a cop comes to see me, my phone's going to come on. I'll just record you. Not that I don't like police, I just don't want to be a victim. And, you know, I one time was at my aunt's house in Euless, Texas. And I walked to the, I want to say mobile, across the street. I walked over and I bought a lighter because my old lighter stopped working and I popped the lighter on the ground when you like throw it on the ground it goes Phew. well the cop said he was going to charge me with intentional dis dispersal of an explosive explosive device I said well huh <laughs> that same that same note you know, I've seen cops help me out. You know, when we went, I went to a, a party one time when I was like 16 or 15. I went to somebody's 18th birthday party and got S-faced. Got really, really, really drunk. Jumped off the second story balcony. And... You know, some people were puking in the back of the cop's car. I was fighting a Mustang. I believe it was at Woodhall's house. And we, and when it all was said and done, it wasn't a cop that helped me. No, it wasn't, it was Mo. Mo from Poncho's. Put me in his car, put me and somebody else in his car, and took me home because the cops were there like let's go <laughs> and you know I ate a ponchos all the time me and my family did so we knew them but anyhow that's all I really had to talk about I just wanted to talk you guys have an amazing day like comment and subscribe <clears throat> if you think somebody else would like about what I talk about share it with them and hopefully you guys will have a party here pretty soon. Hopefully it's in about three weeks. I think it's September 28th today. Yeah, Christmas birthday was yesterday. It's September 28th, so about a month away. I'll have a, be having another MRI. And I'm pretty much planning on them saying, okay, it's gone. I'm going to have a party. But anyhow, thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Have an amazing day. Smile more and make every day better if you want. Thank you guys so much. I love you guys.